How's everybody doing this morning? I am certainly doing a lot, a lot better than I did yesterday. <clears throat> yesterday was just a crappy day for me, I don't know why. It's one of those Mondays where it's, you know, it's cold at noon and then everything didn't want to work the way it's supposed to. But that's alright, we all have those days. One day is better than the other. That's just how life goes. But today we have a good day. We'll see when we uh, get the rest of the day. But so far it's been a good day. Got me another inspection under my belt yesterday. I know they always sit there at that border. At least a lot of times they do. What I found really funny was uh, he actually checked my fuel. Like my fuel tanks. He looked in my fuel tanks. I guess guys are driving with former fuel. I've heard a couple of times that they got caught up there on that border with driving with former fuel. But I thought, you know, Penners, they would never check their fuel. But I guess they want to check everybody's fuel. I guess if you're driving with former fuel, you better not cross roads because they're checking it. <laughs> for former fuel. Anyways, other than that, I was I was really happy. I checked all my lights and everything before I left Steinbeck. Did my proper pre-trip inspection. So if you do your proper pre-trip inspection, then you're not going to have any problems. Like I didn't have any problems yesterday. I checked every one of my lights, and they are really starting to pick on ABS lights. Mine did work too. What they do is if you turn on your key, they look to see if your light comes on and it's supposed to go off, right? And that's what they look for. If that works, you good shit. I've heard a lot of times that they're starting to pick on that and they're starting to give guys warnings for that not working or even tickets in some cases. So far I've been lucky, I always try and check for that. I was lucky to get yesterday. I found it really funny when, uh, when he was doing my inspection, he had already did the whole inspection of the truck and we were talking like here, he was, I had my door open and stuff like that, he was asking me for all my usual stuff, log books and all that, you know, and uh, all of a sudden he noticed I had the camera sitting up there and it was on, eh? so he asked me if it was on and I said, yeah, sure it's on, and he asked me if it was recording it, I said, yeah, sure, if he stands there on the front of the truck, it certainly is recording it. I said, do you mind? He said, no. <laughs> he had a good laugh about that. And so that's it, you know. Well, he was he was a good DOT officer. I have nothing to complain about that. He, uh, I mean, I've never had problems with those guys up there. Even there was, there was usually an older guy up there too, you know. I dealt with him before and he's, he's a real nice guy. I mean, he's got no attitude. He's, got, he's very professional. He's very friendly. Same with this guy, he's very nice, friendly, nothing to complain about. That part I'm not complaining about all about yesterday. It was actually a good experience with him. If every DOT was like him, I wouldn't have to say anything bad about the DOTs. We're all different, right? But anyways, we're putting the hammer down. Hopefully we can get to Germantown tonight. I I have a feeling I won't quite make it up there, but I'll see how far I get. Because I want to stop in Black River Falls and uh, get a grease job done on my truck and also change the fuel filters and the oil filter on my truck. Because I changed over to the synthetic oil there a while back ago. And uh, it's time to change the fuel filters and the uh, oil filter. So I figure I'd change them after 25,000 kilometers. And, uh, drive another 25 at least I want to try and do that I'll see how the oil feels after a little while and figure I'd try and save me some money that way and the synthetic oil is also a little uh, smoother or whatever it's supposed to do 1.5% uh, better on fuel mileage so anything you can do to improve your fuel mileage so we'll try and do that right I'm testing it out right now so far it seems to be doing good so we'll see I'm only at my 25,000 uh, kilometer mark, but uh, we'll see how it does in the long run. But anyways, we'll see you down the road. Oui. 
Well, it looks like our scale is open, so we'll go inside and or go into the scale and see what we get today. Yeah, I've been past or across the scale many, many times. Never had a problem, so hopefully it'll be the same today. It looks like this truck ahead of me is going to get inspected. He stopped on the scale and got the DOT officer outside standing beside his door. It looks like he's going to get inspected. Oh well, that's alright. As long as they leave me alone. I'll be happy, you know. He's still standing there and talking to him. I just really hope my weights are going to be okay. I haven't had a chance to scale it yet. So, we'll hope for the best. Well, we got the green light, so that means we are legal. It didn't even take very long for him to give me the green light. Well, that's a good sign. Yeah, I'm happy about that. Well, I kind of figured I would be okay, but you never know, right? So, I mean, I haven't had any problems with these loads, but you never know. Sometimes it just everything goes wrong, right? But anyways, we'll keep on rolling. Turn keep right on, on rolling. US2. Here we are. Welcome to Wisconsin. Oh, we're going over a pretty big lake. Yep, here we are. We got a big ship up there to the right, up there by those Crossing big buildings. Order. Entering Actually, Wisconsin. there's two of them. One here right on front, one is further towards the back there. I don't know how good you can be able to see it, but... Yep, that's pretty good sized ships. Right here on the left, is where we used to have a BP truck stop and they rebuilt this whole thing here they got a quick trip now in Superior, Wisconsin brand new, everything, the whole yard, everything is brand spanking new I've never stopped there yet it's only probably been open for the last, I don't know, maybe month? maybe that much, I don't know, I, I haven't gone past it since it's been open so that's good at least they're opening a new truck stop there because uh, we need it. We don't have enough truck stops, so most of the drivers always complain about. But uh, anyways, good to see that they have a nice truck stop there now. Alrighty, here we are at the Flying J in Malak River Falls, Wisconsin. I'm gonna go in the shop right now. Get a grease job done, the one, the stuff that I told you about, get the fuel filters changed, the oil filter changed. Continue point nine miles, then turn yep. right on North Water Street. We'll get that taken care of, and then, I guess by that time we have our half an hour mandatory break off, and then we'll be good to go again. Well, here we are at the uh, end of the day. I'm about 10 miles away from my delivery place. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get up uh, early tomorrow morning and go over there because uh, don't really have a reload yet uh, told the dispatch I need to get some more miles and uh, sent me a reload offer yesterday but I refused it because that just goes straight back home again and it's just it's just crappy miles so I uh, I need better miles than that so I refused it so we'll see what what will happen today then because they they knew right from the beginning when they sent it to me because it was right at the end of the day when they sent it to me like 10 before 5 and at 5 o'clock they go home so normally they'll send it to me like 3 30 4 o'clock and now they waited till 10 to 5 so they knew exactly what they were doing so they were definitely read my message that I didn't want to go back home again so then we're just gonna refuse it. We'll see what happens. I need better miles than this. I can't make money like this, you know. But anyways, I'm done for today. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow at 5 a.m.